Hey guys, welcome to Dance All Connections. I'm your host, DJ Hypeness, and I'm here with an artist goes by the name of Strike. That's a dancehall artist. And we're going to talk to him, get to know him a little bit, and find out what's going on with him musically. And, you know, a few personal things. What's going on? Just the uh, DJ Agnes. I like your outfit, yeah. Thank you very much. First, uh, but the name is Strike. I don't know. Jamaica me represents still. I know I'm there in the Bronx, so see it. All right, that's what's up. Now, he called me, and when I say he, I'm referring to the producer of the show, Nigel. He called and he said, you know what? I want you to interview this artist. I went to a dance and he was good. And I really want to talk to him and find out, you know, a background on him. What was it that striked him like that? What is it about you as an artist? Well, maybe it's just the image and the lyrical content, you know, because... We don't know, we have to stand out, we have to stand out because all of the artists out there. So we just have to stand out of the crowd and do the thing different so people can really recognize it. And that, that was exactly what happened. So okay. Nigel could have recognized the talent and also other good artists out there were just need to be highlighted. All right, that's what's up. You're based in Jamaica or New York? Based in Jamaica. Okay, so what is it like for you in Jamaica right now? Do you have any songs that are in rotation? Yeah, my God, um, just released a song called Easy Like Sunday Morning, just shot the video. I did the video in Carolina, though, because I just want to show the world a different side of, say, and only Jamaica alone people are suffer. Right. You understand? It's a worldwide battle, so we still have to fight it regardless. So I do the video in Carolina to show the different side of the world to Jamaica, say, we still, from, we have life, we have hope, and we can move on from that. That is true. What, you, what would you say was your biggest struggle thus far in the music industry well my biggest struggle you know for vice with producers and them just curve me song them them not play them and just vice me and just put me out probably them are weird for me get big before them can say yo me have a strike you know yo 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 you understand so that's my biggest struggle still what would you say to a producer like that that want to wait for the time when a artist reach a certain level before they even give them the chance to voice them. What message would you say to them right now? Well, the message I'm going to give to them producer there, I say, remember I say, the stone of the builder refuse becomes the head corner stone. Yeah. That's a that is true. That is true. I agree with that. Don't wait for the last minute or when they get big to voice them and then take credit. Don't do that. Do it now. With talking about producers, are, are there any specific ones you would like to work with right now? Well, basically, I'm open-minded when it comes to music. So if a producer hear on my sound and like on my sound and would have work with me, I'm open-minded towards that. I'm not really as specified. Okay. Yeah, so I'm open to any producer. So long as you, 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 you have the good beats and you have somewhere to go, I will work with you. All right, fair enough. What brought you to the Bronx? You were, perf- were you booked for that show or did you just happen to pass through? You know I say, for real, a party me, a party still, and big up nightlife sound. Nightlife sound based in New York, Mount Vernon, Bronx, everywhere really still. So, um, we was partying and um, the song, the song, the song, because it's a remix song that I performed, the Bugatti remix, so I did a song, yeah, so, um, the club was about to close off, and me just get a little five second and I guess I strike the whole crowd in that five seconds. So wh- why the name strike? Why? Why? All right, strike to me is when something strike, it's, it creates an effect. Your office when if something strike, you might catch a fire. Or if, if the lightning strike, you might see it. And if you're not mind sharp, it, it strike you. Yeah. So strike, strike is just an effect. So I mean, when we strike, people have to see the effect of our strike. Okay, so that was your whole idea and concept of the name. How long you have that name? Um eight years okay. yeah and so eight eight years doing music more than eight but professionally eight years okay. where, where do you hope to go with your career beyond the skies is the limit so you want to be a lightning go up beyond the sky and strike them <laughs> beyond the skies and strike them light the court in there. <laughs> that's what's up that's what's up are there any artists that are known that you link with not really. I know a lot. I know a lot of artists, but um, not really. No close, close link with them. Some of them know my face. I know the name, but I guess never really come in contact with any of them. To uh, understand, so I'm just I'm a solo. 
Okay, solo, solo artist. Where did you grow up? Where were you raised? I was raised in Maypen, Clarendon, Jamaica. That's a battlefield. Trust me. Really? Yeah, trust me. Maypen is not a nice place. I mean, it's a nice place, but it's not a nice place, if you know what I mean. Within crime and violence, if you're a youth, come up out of Maypen and really survive and reach somewhere, you have to respect him because he's focused. That's true, that's true. So was it a really rough um, upbringing for you with your family-wise? My, my family have been supportive in every step of my career and everything, but I branched off. I branched off and went to Kingston because I said staying home wouldn't get me nowhere. And it, for, for me, my community, I said, that you, the body, no, where, where, that you, that, you see it? So I just go out there to really show the world where the community can, where the community can see. So I just leave me a pen and I just go Kingston and start spreading the music on a different level. Is it difficult for you to get your music around in Jamaica? Yeah, it is because the business get corrupt and you know, say I'm money around the thing and choose strike now rich and strike now on the links. So I've been places, I get um, rotations and radios and stuff like that, but um, it's just raw talent. Okay. Yeah, raw talent. Bring me all them places. Look out for him. Dance Out Connection, DJ Hypeness. We're at Real Deal Studio. Collaboration with DJ Unknown. So I'm about to head back on air. Nice talking to you guys. See you later.